Around 36 hours ago, central Ohio was rocked by a powerful storm that pushed across the state. Six tornadoes have been confirmed so far. A trail of destruction stretches east to west. Just take a look at this. You're going to get a look here at a tornado that touched down in London. Now, this video was taken by Christopher Estep. Now, cleanup efforts remain ongoing and communities hit hard. Crews have been working nonstop. Neighbors are doing their part to help people in need. And with that, we thank you for joining us today for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Smalley. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. Right now, we are getting an overhead look at the gravity of storm damage in Madison County. The video you are seeing right now was captured by the Ohio State Highway Patrol. And as cleanup efforts are ongoing, we continue to bring you team coverage. NBC4's Jackie Gillis is in Licking County, seeing how cleanup is happening there. While Eric Halperin is in Madison County, where two tornadoes touched down, one left behind destruction at the county airport and property where the farm science review was held. Eric uh, is going to show us here what they're dealing with now, Eric. Some of the buildings here at OSU's Molly Karen Agricultural Center have a bit of damage. Others are destroyed. To give you a glimpse of what happened here, this piece of metal came from that roof, which is on the ground about 200 yards away. The OSU Molly Karen Agricultural Center holds a special place in Matthew Sullivan's heart. This is home. Madison County is home to me. I grew up. He grew up in the county and has worked at the center for 20 years. This is the main drive and we, you see the fence here and the fence is down. Well, so seeing the property with debris stuck in fences thrown all over the place and buildings destroyed is tough. He got his first view of the destruction Wednesday morning. I was in shock yesterday. That's a good way of putting it. Community members and safety leaders grateful. Despite two tornadoes hitting the area, no one was hurt. Pretty amazing when you look at that, try to make sense of that, and something we'll never understand. The Madison County Airport is just west of the Agricultural Center. Aerial video from the Ohio State Highway Patrol shows how hard hangars and planes were hit. Um, I've never seen destruction like this in my life. You see it on TV. Like, oh, there was a tornado in Kentucky or there was a tornado someplace else. But until it's in your home, pretty different. This is where the Farm Science Review is held each year. Despite the shape of the property now, Sullivan says it will still happen right on schedule in September. It's, it's an annual destination. You know, people go on vacations. Farmers come here to see the latest and greatest farming equipment. And so that's our job is to ensure that when they show up here, it is the best farm show in the United States. Sullivan says there is some silver lining here. This fence now has all kinds of debris in it. Sullivan says the fence likely stopped some of that debris from going to I-70, which would have caused even more problems. Local for you in Madison County, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4. And after a tornado touched down in Licking County, cleanup efforts are underway there. NBC4's Jackie Gillis joins us now from there. Jackie, what can you tell us? Jared and Jennifer, I've seen residents outside all day today cleaning up their yards, but for some people, getting back to normal is going to take some time. The power company's coming out today to look. Once that's done, contractors are coming out after that later this afternoon to look at, get a visual on what needs done, assess that, and then tomorrow we start hopefully putting things back together. Lind Fruit Farm got an early start. Yesterday we showed you part of the roof that was mixed in with trees, but by noon today it was all cleared. So we're in a good position and it's early in the spring, so we've got time to sort of repair buildings and do any other uh, necessaries to get ready for another growing season. Lynn says the damage could have been a lot worse. He tells me there's very little damage to his orchard. And the only damage that I see are some of the older peach orchards. Peach trees are fragile and some of those older orchards of peach trees, they split and those trees will have to be removed. But most of the young peach orchards look wonderful. So what you're looking at here previously was probably about a 40 foot wide, 60 foot long pole barn. Joshua McGraw lives just off of Graham Road. He remembers waking up and everything being pitch black. And then just dead silent, like the eeriest, scariest thing in my life. He tells me he remembers hearing his barn explode in just a matter of seconds. It all happened so fast, he grabbed everyone and they hid in the bathroom. I mean, the first thing I thought was, I don't know how I'm alive. 
I mean, that was absolutely the first thing in my mind after seeing just the destruction and devastation around me. The cleanup will take some time, but he's grateful no one was hurt. No one was hurt. That's all that matters. You know, that's that's number one stuff we can replace. Everything's kind of just disheveled. Now I'm out here on Graham Road, which is where most of the damage was done. I mean, even if you just take a look behind me, you can see large trees down in this neighbor's front yard. So a lot of work still needing to be done here. Local for you in Licking County, I'm Jackie Gillis, NBC4.